Saturday. Well, well, for all you Blink-182 fans out there, it is a day of mourning. It looks like the guys who started the pop, pop punk boy band phenomenon are going on an indefinite hiatus, and we know what that means. They're calling it quits. Rumors I know had been circulating like crazy the past couple of days. Here is what we know happened. First, they pull out of a scheduled appearance for a tsunami benefit on Friday in Anaheim, California. Hmm. Then, and this is a big one, Dave Navarro, who played at the benefit, wrote on his blog online that the boys had canceled because he heard they had broken up just the day before. Oops! Now Navarro tried to change his post, but too late, word got out. And finally, just this morning, Blink's management did issue a statement confirming what we all feared. The boys say they want to spend more time with family and friends and enjoy the fruits of their labor. So, in honor of the late, great Blink, take a stroll down memory lane with us, won't ya? For nearly 12 years, Blink-182's music has been hailed worldwide. It's infectious blend of pop melody, raw power, and cutting edge poop and fart jokes. But today, Blink-182 is no more, as Mark Hoppus, Tom DeLonge, and Travis Barker part ways, bringing to a close one of the true Cinderella stories in popular music. Formed in 1993 in San Diego, Blink, sans the 182, was originally the brainchild of Hoppus and DeLonge. Intent on forging a sound totally effing unique, from other SoCal punk bands like No Effects and Bad Religion, Hoppus DeLong and drummer Scott Rayner released Blink's first EP, Fly Swatter. Soon the band gained a loyal following, but also the notice of an Irish band, not U2, called Blink as well. A legal battle ensued, forcing Hoppus and DeLong to rechristen their band Blink 182, a name they would eventually carry to glory. By 1997, Blink-182 had released three independent albums. That year, they were signed to the main stage of the Warped Tour, and scored a contract with MCA Records. But there was trouble within the band. Blink replaced drummer Rayner with human metronome Travis Barker, before recording what would become Blink's breakthrough record, Enema of the State. It was the beginning of a reign of power chords, porn stars, and little people. Blink soon became poster boys for Ritland-fueled post-adolescent boob obsession. Three more successful albums were to follow, The Mark, Tom, and Travis Show, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, and the self-titled Blink-182. But behind the happy facade, cracks were beginning to show, even as the band put on its most functional face for televised appearances on Laguna Beach. On Tuesday, the band announced its indefinite hiatus, saying they wished to spend more time with their loved ones. Blink-182, your fans will miss you. Say it ain't so, guys. Say it ain't so is right. Of course, they still have side projects. Someone's really upset. And Travis has a reality show coming out right here on MTV, so we'll still hear from them. I'm right. wearing black because, well, I'm uh, no longer. But we will still hear from them. Thank you so much, Suchin, sure. for that update. <laughs> and you guys heard it right here on TRL.